Hey everyone. Uh, so the other day I posted a review of this plugin, the Wow2 filter box on edmprod.com. Quite a long review. I'd recommend go have and read if you're interested in buying this plugin. Uh, but today I'm just going to give a bit of an overview of the some of the features in this plugin. So we're just going to be looking at these five knobs here in this filter section. And in the, in the next parts we'll look at the vowel mode and also, sorry, this modulation section uh, below. The first thing is, you'll notice when you open up this plugin is the cutoff knob, um, as you would expect on a filter. Now I really like this cutoff knob. Um, first of all it looks great, I mean, it's, this plugin is really well designed. But I like this thing in the middle. Um, and it basically shows you a visual representation of what the filter is doing to your sound. It's minimal, it's simple, and I like it. You can imagine the frequency range inside here and the filter cutting this off, which is real cool. And of course, it changes with whatever filter you're using. For example, if I change to a high pass, um, you can see that it switches around, or maybe a comb filter does that. You get the idea. So that's real cool. And of course it works if I play a sound here. You see the effect it has. So cutoff knob, real awesome. Um, often I find it quicker to just look in the middle here instead of finding out where this little thing is. But, you know, each of their own. Next thing is resonance. And I really like the resonance on this because it doesn't, it's hard to make it sound harsh. Um, I forgot how they sort they do this. They handle it in such a way. But when you're using cheap filters, especially a fruity stock filter, and you push the resonance too high, uh, you can often get self oscillation, which sounds really harsh, and it's not nice to have at all. But on this filter, it's it's quite hard to push it to that extent. I can show you what I mean. So like I said, it's hard to push it to that um, that pain point where it really hurts your ears and just doesn't sound nice at all. So that's your resonance. And you can also see that it changes um, the little diagram in there, changes. And it's also great to use with vowel mode, which we'll get into in the next part. Uh, next thing is volume. And this is just a typical output um, control. So if you need to give it a bit more uh, boost or impact, then you can turn the uh, volume up or down if, say, the distortion is making it too loud. Then you've got your dry-wet, which is a pretty standard feature on all filters. And it's called have if you want subtle filter effects. Now finally, uh, down here we've got distortion. And I really like distortion, uh, the distortion on this filter because it's just so, okay, A, it's good sounding, and B, you've got seven different fil um, distortion types, and you can also put it after or before the filter, which I really like. So if you want, say, low-pass distortion, then you'll put it before the filter, like so. But if I put it after the filter, it distorts, um, you know, obviously distorts the wave, the audio signal after the filter has been added. This might be a bit loud, but I'll show you the difference. So that's a real cool um, feature. And of course, you've got different distortion types. This is one of my favorite. Um, bit crusher, all that kind of stuff. Real cool. Um, and I think that's one of the things that really sets this filter apart from the others. Because there are other filters out there which do offer a lot of features, including modulation. But I think the WOW 2 really exceeds in that um, that aspect. And also the, the filter types, they sound really nice. And there's a few modelled off the Moog. Um, I really like the default one, which is the O30. And you've got a few high pass, band pass and special ones which are really cool too. Overall, and more than enough filters, I think. I only use a couple of them. And 
it's just really easy to understand, easy to use plugin. Um, so in the next part, I'm going to go over the vowel mode and then we'll look at some of these things down here. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.